Hello, my name's Lisa and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. If this is your first time here, then thank you very much for choosing to click on this video. If you are a returning subscriber, then just know that I really do appreciate you. Now, today's video is going to be an announcement from Jessie Lee Ward, and she is one of the top leaders of Prove It. So let's listen to what she's going to announce today, shall we? Hello, hello everybody, what's going on? It's Jessie Lee, and welcome to Jessie Lee's Joyful Juicing Kitchen. I'm your host, Joyful Jessie Lee. Uh, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm gonna juice for you. We're gonna talk about VP, and then I'm gonna get on a flight to Germany. Um, so that's what's happening right now. So anyway, um, how are ya? How the heck are ya? Um, I got this shirt from Russ downstairs. Love this. Actually, Randy Anderson bought me a similar shirt in a different color. Um, so big fan that all my friends understand what's going on here, okay? The first thing I want to say is I'm so happy to see that Jessie Lee finally has her pick lines covered up because you can get a serious infection having them uncovered all the time like she did before. How are you? Let's put on our little, uh, our little apron here. Um, if you didn't already see the caption, I do now have a code for you. So you can enter code pure Jessie which is weird for me to say because my name is Jesse Lee, but it's pure Jesse in all caps on pure juices website. All right. So we're going to start juicing. I'm going to do uh, lime and carrot first, and then I'm going to do my big concoction. I always do. And we're going to rock and roll. I need to get a big cup too, actually, because I need to, uh, I actually need to drink some, um, drink some carrot juice. It is time today. It is time. So yes, it is awesome news. Uh, I'm the vice president of prove it. Wow, Jessie Lee just said she's the vice president of Prove It. Does that mean she's now got a corporate job? That's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? She told us that she would never work for corporate, that she was not made to work in a corporate job. So what changed, I wonder? And just to clarify a point here, Jessie Lee is actually the vice president of Field development and performance within Prove It. She's not the actual vice president of Prove It. <coughs> That's my first cough today since doing something that I was going to tell you guys about. Um, but anyways, my first call uh, since being uh, appointed vice president of Prove It International. So very excited about it. Uh, we can talk about it. I'd love to talk about it. Any questions you have, let's go. Uh, you know, Oh, I forgot to put my grade in. Okay, so welcome to step one of juicing with Jesse Lee. You have to put your grade in. It's very simple, but you know, some of us forget sometimes. Um, yes, I'm really excited, like super excited. So um, it's a big deal for me, but more importantly, it's a big deal for everybody in the company. So it's called the coxswain. Is that what it's called? The coxswain, the guy on the boat that rows everybody together in one direction. Um, I was also referred to as the catalyst. Uh, and I'm, I'm ready to bring everybody together. It's really exciting for me. I've done a lot, I've accomplished a lot inside of, um, inside of my company, inside of this profession as a whole, and uh, I'm excited. These are good questions. Will I still be in the field? Yes. I will still be in the field building. I will still be recruiting. I will still be leading the empire. This is, uh, this is another job, you know? Hold on, just a cotton picking minute, Miss Lee. You're still going to be recruiting. You're still going to be in the field. You're still going to be doing all the jobs you do already, as well as being the vice president of Prove It. Is there more than 24 hours in a day now, then? How are you actually going to fit all those things in? And don't you have cancer? Aren't you supposed to be taking it easier not taking on more work well in my opinion i really don't think that's the right thing that you should be doing is this like my first job in 12 years Gosh, guys i'm employed um so anyway i'm not i did not leave the field absolutely not uh i love building too much wasn't even uh wasn't even a table discussion to leave the field why would you leave the field when You've never met anybody who can recruit the way I recruit, and I love selling the way I love to sell, and I love leading the way I love to lead. Don't be silly. Don't be a silly carrot head. 
you carrot head, you pickle head. <laughs> Don't be a pickle head. Just because you use stupid voices when you call people names, it doesn't mean it's any less demeaning. And in my opinion, it is so unprofessional. It is not a, you know, I don't know, I guess some of you must be new around here. So if you're new around here, let me explain the way things tend to go for Jesse Lee. I add or multiply. I don't subtract. Rumour has it from a very reliable source that you do divide, and specifically, families. Uh, it's just an addition. Multiplication, I guess you could say. So, uh, yes, I'm, I'm employed. <laughs> oh, but I'm so excited. It was, you know, I gave a speech yesterday for the, for the company. I mean, I'm sorry I can't show it to you because I don't have it, but it was, it, was, it was very good. I thought it was super powerful. I even asked, after a couple of minutes, I said, wait a minute, are you guys happy about this? <laughs> and uh, everyone gave me a roar. Okay, not like, ah, that sounds like crying. Um, it was like a roar from the crowd, which was really, really cool. So um, it meant a lot to have the support of so many people in the field. Everybody, honestly, it seemed, it seemed like everybody. Are there some people maybe that aren't happy? Yes, I'm sure. Um, but none of them <clears throat> vocalized anything yesterday, so... We'll see, but uh, I'm really excited. I'm absolutely certain that there are many people that care about you deeply who will not be happy with this decision that you've made, Jesse Lee. What am I making? I've never made carrot lime juice before, but in this Beat Cancer Kitchen book uh, that I use, it says to do that a lot. So I feel bad that I haven't done it yet. And I was about to cut my apples and I was like, wait a minute, I don't need to cut apples. I want to try this. So, yeah, this is the pure juicer. This is my big kahuna. Uh, so, I love it so much. So much. Super easy to use. All right, so uh, I'm at a weird angle with you guys, though, now. So, um, waiting on Courtney to show you the live video. Yeah, I know Courtney recorded it, that's for sure. She was up front and center crying, although I was crying. I cried, um, I cried a couple times. I cried... When I said something, I also cried when Brian said something. So from stage, Brian said, um, do you drink ketones? Yes, I still drink ketones. Uh, caffeine free though for me now. Uh, so I also cried when Brian read the text message that I, I it is true. It was the text message I sent him when he asked me um, if I wanted the position and, uh, and I said yes. The CEO of Prove It asked you if you wanted to be the vice president in a text message. What sort of company is it that you're working for? Surely, if you can't be person to person, then it should have at least been done over the telephone, shouldn't it? For professionalism? A quick trigger warning for this next part. Jesse Lee makes a statement about unaliving, so skip ahead for about 15 seconds to go past that part. I said to him, this might sound really weird, but thank you, you've given me something to live for. And I don't mean that in like a depressing way, like um, I, I'm feeling suicidal or anything. Uh, I'm not. I meant it like I know that with... Uh, any of these chronic Ill illnesses, if you don't have something that you're pushing for, that you're living for, that you're excited about, etc., it can be it can become really scary really fast, and you can start losing your momentum. And so, why do you need a job as something to live for? Surely you've got two beautiful dogs. According to you, you've got an amazing man. You've got a wonderful life and plenty of money so why do you need a corporate job as another thing to make you want to live for i really don't get that i would have thought you had enough in your life already surely i actually wanted to explain that on video so you could understand uh what i meant by that but that's what i meant by that i know i have a lot of stuff to live for i have a. Uh... I got a man and some babies that aren't born yet and uh, a lot of stuff that's really good in my life to live for, for sure. But um, this is this is really big. This is already a multi-billion dollar company and now uh, my personal goal, nobody asked me to do this, but I've got a very much so personal goal of getting us to a, to a billion dollars a year and soon. We're at half a billion, so we got a ways to go, but I know I'm partnering with more people. I know this will also attract a lot more leaders to the company because they're like, wait a minute, so Jesse Lee's leadership is what's gonna be driving this thing which of course the answer is yes, and so I'm super excited about it. 
in your inflated opinion, Miss Ward, more people are going to flock to the company because you're the vice president. Well, what about your accelerator then? Because if more people are going to come to prove it because you're leading it, then surely that's going to damage your accelerator intake. And I've watched many, many videos that you've made, Jesse Lee, and also videos made by other creators who know you personally. And there is a common theme running through them. You talk about systems within Prove It, and so do some of your top leaders, like hashtag Courtney Shortney. And you all say about the system. But in my opinion, these systems were only put in place to keep people busy so that they don't realise that they're actually not growing in the business and they're not actually making any money. And it's also to stop them looking outside of the bubble so they can't learn more negative things about multi-level marketing. And another thing that I've heard is that you are a master manipulator and that you have distinctive patterns of behaviour. Well, most of us have seen that when you're doing trial packing. You'll say something outrageous and then you'll tell people to join your team. And that is a pattern of behaviour that, in my opinion, is not a good thing. Super, super, super excited about it. Everything's good. Uh, everything's good. I'd love to ask your, answer questions. How am I doing? I'm doing great. And I'm really excited. Um, I've run some gone for days. He's been in uh, California. But he comes back tonight, so that'll be good. Because then I'm going to Germany. Um, I, I do look awesome, but I do look orange. Like, I have an awareness that these six, these six pounds of carrots a day are definitely turning my my skin uh, orange. It's okay though. It's good that when you look at yourself, you think that you feel good, even if you don't. And in my honest opinion, I think you look extremely tired and anything other than good. You know, I would, I would love to have orange skin that, compared to, you know, other things that, you know, are trying to reside in my a bad day. This just comes with the pure juicer. So this is like a pure juicer. It's, I don't know, somebody said it reminds me of a cheesecloth, but I don't really know what cheesecloth is. So is it cheesecloth? Maybe. Is it not? Also maybe. You're definitely asking the wrong person because I don't know what cheesecloth is. But this is like a special juicing cloth. It, the packages come with it and then, and then I just juice it up. I get the juice to get you loose. I'm doing carrot lime right now. So it's just purejuicer.com and then you can use code PUREJESSE in all caps for I don't know what. Just like carrots do to babies, a healthy glow. Babies turn orange from carrots. Oh, I love that. I am not in Kentucky uh, because I had to pack up my bags so I could fly to Germany first thing in the morning. So um, I was only able to be in Kentucky for two days. So I was there for the big, 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 well, several big announcements. By the way, if you're there, there's more announcements coming, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, this is called the Pure Juicer. It's the best juicer in the entire world you can buy, in case you're wondering. Uh, love my vibe, thank you, you can follow along. I am still team building, correct. Uh, do you still get to root? Yes. Do I still get to sell? Yes. Do I still get to make an income and commissions as VP? I do. Ooh, lightning. We got another storm in this. Oh. Love it. All right, so line. Get out of Look, I love MLM so much. It's time to get out of Cutco knife, ba ba da ba. Only in New York. Let's go. Uh, it's super easy to clean. Yeah, it's one of the reasons that I was attracted to it because uh, I've seen some of these juicing situations and it looks like there's a lot going on. Uh, the flight to Germany is not direct. There's nothing direct from Dallas. I don't understand this. The only place I could find direct was from LAX, which is not useful. Uh, and so the flight will be from Charlotte. I have a you know hour-long layover in Charlotte, and then I fly eight or nine hours to, uh, to Munich. All right, um, is there a new job going to changing your customers? Nope, 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 nope. This is um, more for me and more for you. I guess that's the only way I can describe it. Uh, it doesn't change anything for my amazing customers. It doesn't change anything for how I run um, my business. It's an addition so that I am bringing the entire company together because I don't know if you can imagine this, but um, imagine if you joined Prove It, like some people who are probably watching this, 
and then you discovered me and then you discovered the empire and then you saw everything and you went, oh my gosh, I want her systems. I want her calls. I want her leadership. I want to do what they're doing on the team. Why can't I do what they do? Why can't I join that? And the answer is, hey, it's just inappropriate if I answer these questions because you have a different leader, like all the time. Well, there's no more of that. It's like, hi, hello. I'm leading everybody and we're going to the flipping moon. Okay, all right. Let me see if I'm understanding this right. They've made you vice president so that, in my opinion, you can steal other people's clients. So before you were answering the questions, but they weren't part of your team or in your downline. They were under another leader. But now you're going to be answering all their questions. So surely that means they would rather be with you. Hmm, seems a bit unethical to me. But hey, I could have got it totally wrong. If you haven't noticed, I uh, tend to do everything I said I'm going to do. So it helps all promoters. Correct. Um, all promoters on all teams. Yep. Yeah, so this is going to probably squeeze a little bit of lime out. Maybe not. No, it's perfect. Well done, lime. So you wrap it in that little special cloth. It looks like a paper towel, but it's not. So I'm super excited. And I'm not at a stage in my life where I think you guys know this, but I say no to everything I don't want to do. Everything I don't feel like doing is a hard no. Um, and this was an immediate yes. An immediate yes. So uh, I'm excited. I hope everyone in our company is... 10% as excited as I am from the shrieking yesterday. Uh, I'm guessing everybody's pretty excited. But um, this bus, that's right, this energy bus, we're headed straight to the moon. I know that's right. Um, out of this world, for sure. And, you know, I'm still obviously dedicated and focused on uh, building the empire. Um, I would say that's, that's probably priority number one. Um, How can you be the vice president of Prove It and working a corporate job but you're making the empire, which is your group of people who are all recruited under you, your number one priority, huh? Please explain how that works. And then, yeah, so actually, so the company is really amazing. We had conversations about them sending a juicer to Germany for me. So that's amazing, like to the clinic that I'm going to be going to. How long has it been a secret for? Um, uh, we started discussions two and a half years ago. Um, I was asked, or we decided it was a yes. Um, code's not working? <gasps> All right, I have a direct link too. Okay, every single one of you saying, just put code in the comments. I'll come back after if you want the code and I'll direct message you the link. So just type code. Sorry, I never tried it, I didn't test it. So just write, just type, just type the word code in the comments if you need me to give you a code for the juicer. Um, but anyway, so uh, the dogs are not coming to Germany, although because of how Munich is a really expensive city in Germany, in case you don't know, a lot of cities in um, Europe as a whole are not expensive. Munich's extremely expensive. So even with points and stuff like that, uh, financially, it's going to make a lot more sense for me to actually get an apartment in Germany. Even, um, But anyway, so um, it's really expensive. So I just asked some of our German team, I said, hey, could you help me, um, could you help me find an apartment? And Andreas is like, absolutely, Munich is his city. So um, he's like, do you want it in the park or the city? I said, you know, I'm way more inclined to be in a park, uh, but I need to be in walking or scooter distance from everywhere. So, cause I know myself, I am a creature of habit. I do everything by routines. I don't really try new stuff. Um, yeah, I don't do any of that. I find you a quite contradictory person, Jessie Lee. You are a creature of habit. You don't like trying new stuff and you don't really do new stuff. So what do you call being the vice president of Prove It then? Because that is something that's totally new and also very different from your normal routine. So I, I, when I find somewhere I like, I like to just keep going there, scooting there, walking there, eating there, etc. And um, And so I... I told him, so if, I, if it has to be city so that I can be close enough to multiple restaurants where I can get my salads and my uh, juice and, and everything until I get my juicer over there, I would love that. And he's like, no problem. So that would be probably about $2,000 a month, which is, it costs more than that to stay a week in Munich. So um, I have a lot of 
points and stuff for American Express, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and so I, I've been able to use a lot of points for this trip, but there aren't always points available too on some of these things. Uh, so I'm not moving to Germany, <laughs> uh, but it'll feel like that, I guess. Uh, oh, uh, cause I'll be there every month for the foreseeable future. I'm doing treatment in Germany. So my first treatments, I'll take y'all on the ride. It starts on Monday. So I'm, I'm nervous about it. Um, I'm excited about it. I've had a really crazy cough, which I don't have right now. You seem to have what sounded like a very bad cough at the beginning of this video, Jesse Lee. And I don't want to talk about that. I coughed at the end of this video and I was like, oh God, no, it's back. And I was going to tell them how excited I am. Um, but I had this cough for a month and it just makes me a little nervous because I know all my scans were clear, but uh, when, when I went to Germany three weeks ago, but my, um, I know that colon cancer metastasizes to liver and lungs. Those are the two places that it goes to. It's in my lymph nodes or was in my lymph nodes. I don't even know. I asked this doctor, should I get a scan? Should I get a PET scan before I come there? He's like, no, there's literally no point. Like just get here. Let's start treating everything. Let's get it all done. I was like, all right, homie, whatever you say, whatever you say. I told, I was like, I was, I'm a little nervous with this. So anyway, I was talking to Susan Johnson. I don't know if anybody knows Susan Johnson. If you don't, you should follow her. Uh, this is my shout out to Susan. You should check her out. So Susan and I have been friends for five years or something like that. She is in doTERRA, I believe, um, essential oils, but that has nothing to do with this. So she actually saved her son's life from cancer. Um, and that's when she started getting deep into the research of um, healing and not just, you know, chemotherapy and radiation. It's, and we've been friends, but I obviously never thought that I was going to be down this road. And I didn't really know how much she was, you know, like how influential she was in this space. So anyway, um, Susan and I have been talk, uh, got back to talking very frequently, I used to talk pretty frequently, but I've been chatting with her about a bunch of stuff. And, um, she happened to message me today and I was doing it every, I feel like every time she messages me, I'm doing a coffee enema. So I'm doing a coffee enema. I send her a photo of that and she sends me a photo back of a coffee enema. We were both doing coffee enemas at the same time laughing. And I said, and I said, you know, the only thing that's bothering me is I got this nagging cough and I really can't like fill my lungs all the way without going like, <coughs> which that was fake just there. Okay. So I'm like, like, this is really exciting because I can actually breathe right now. So I'm gonna tell you why this is exciting. So, um, every time I would do that for the last couple of weeks, it, it it was a problem. So I said to her, I said, drive me crazy. And she said, okay, first of all, get a nebulizer. Um, and she gave me some stuff to nebulize and she linked me to something on her website. And, uh, I said, okay, I know where I can get a nebulizer. My godson has a nebulizer. So I'm gonna wear the dyno on my face. I'm gonna go get the nebulizer in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna go get my dyno. So she's talking about glutathione, which I do have here and a couple other things. Um, but then and look how orange I'm turning. Do you see this? <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, and so I said, okay. And then she said, also castor oil, pack your lungs. And I went, really? Cause I said, I feel like my heart of hearts, just so you know, my heart of hearts tells me that this is cancer die off. If you don't know, cancer die off can be, can seem like symptoms of cancer. The other thing is it can be really painful. Um, I haven't had any pain. I've had a few like cramps in my stomach, not right now at all. Um, and then this lung thing going on she goes, it very well, maybe. So you need to do the nebulizer. She said, and then go castor oil, pack your lungs. I said, okay. Um, and so I did for about an hour and I have been, my lungs have been like, <sighs> ever since. And that was, I don't know. Eight Is it just me or do the rest of you watching this find it incomprehensible that Jessie Lee knows that the cancer she's got can metastasize to the lung and at least where I come from they say if you have had a nagging cough for longer than a week then you ought to seek medical attention and if I was in Jessie Lee's position I would have sought medical attention straight away with that cough because the sooner I get it treated, the quicker I'm going to feel better? Or is it just the fact that she only listens to people who practice pseudoscience, not actual medical professionals? And I know I've said this before in other videos, but I just find it incredulous that she wants to try all of these homopathic things, but she doesn't want to turn to actual real proven medicine. But I told her, I said, I think it's cancer die off. And so we had a nice conversation. You can check her out. 
Her name's Susan Johnson. She's like the only one who does that. So just check that out. But anyway, yeah, you keep asking questions. Um, so how do you castor oil? I did it. I actually made a, tic made a TikTok about it. So you can go look at my TikTok. I made a, um, I showed you, but basically you take a cloth, you have it in castor oil. I also used Deuteros frankincense, four drops, according to Susan Johnson. Um, and uh, I put it on my chest and then you put saran wrap on top of it. And then uh, you put a heat pack on top. So, or like a hot water bottle. I have a heat pack, so I just put it on there. I, I pack my kidneys as well, uh, all the time. So I already have the supplies I needed. Um, but yeah, and now, and here's my only, <laughs> my problem with packing for Germany is like, I don't need to pack a bunch of stuff. Meaning I don't feel like I need to uh, take a lot of clothes or any of this crap. Um, she probably does have a list of, a list of storefront. Yeah, a lot of links for stuff. So just check her out. Now I'm like, well, shoot, I wasn't going to check a bag for the two weeks. And now I'm a little worried that I'm going to have to take bags because just simply for supplements and for castor oil and crazy, like dang on. So I'll figure it out. But anyway, um, yeah, maybe I can shop there for it too. That's true. That's true. That's true. True, true, true. Yeah. So pulls toxins again. Yeah. You can use a thyroid right side for liver detox. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Damn. There's that cough. All right, I went to this place called Chalmers Wellness. It's local to me to get to get the stuff for uh, for the packs, but that's because he's my friend. And yeah, does it make you poop a lot? Does what make you poop a lot? Um, because I mean, I I poop a lot, so I don't know. Um, I poop a lot because I use coffee enemas three times a day. You know, I poop normal too. On top of that, like it's a lot going on. Um, I know I need a documentary with all this in one place, don't I? I'm trying, and the funny thing is, I, I bet I can turn it on like an Amazon store too. I've been drinking alkaline water forever, Kangen people, okay? Don't come for me, all right? Kangen does not cure cancer, so shush! All right? I love y'all. You and your medical claims. I've been drinking this for a long time, my friends. Been drinking your 9.5 and your 11.5. For a long time. Okay. Um, I don't drink castor oil, though. Okay. <clears throat> I do love my machine, by the way. I'm not nebulizing anything yet. I don't know. Okay. Jeez, oh, peace. I'm drinking your Asia, okay? I'm putting Asia even in my butt now because somebody told me to. I mean, you guys got me doing all kinds of weird stuff. You MLM people. This is why people talk about us. <laughs> You are right about that point though, Jessie Lee. This is why people talk about people who are in the multi-level marketing industry. And it's because they make outrageous claims that each of their products can cure this or that or something else that someone's suffering from. And 99% of the time, that is just not true. I do love you and I love our profession, but you really make me laugh. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Um, yeah, castor oil and saran wrap and this supplements in the check bag. I know, but I don't want to check a bag is what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Ugh, I just want to take a carry-on. I hate that. I hate check bags. Um, are you using frankincense on a daily basis? Multiple times a day. Yes. Guys, I smell like a hippie. I don't know, something's floating me. I think it's still the vegetables, but... I was about to say, I'm glad I'm not farting all the time. Uh, I do I do like that idea. Uh, Eugenia Schroeder says, yes, I've tried it. Yeah, Brittany, check bags are super fast in Germany. The problem is coming back to America. Total pain in the butt. But UPS, it will be here when you are. Really? It takes like two days to get UPS over to Germany? Is that for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick Simpson oil. Yeah, yeah. Black seed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instacart Germany, I know. Um... Did you ask if it could be from all the vitamins? I wonder if it was causing cough. Oh, the vitamin C when I'm doing it always makes me cough. Before any of it's made me cough for a long time. That's not actually new. Um, and uh, that's normal. That is like burning. You've got burnt vit vitamin C burning you. Um, it's brutal. I'm not gonna lie about it. <laughs> I would have thought that if vitamin C was burning you and it was brutal then surely you are overdosing on it, aren't you? Isn't that what most people would assume? You can order... <coughs> no, I don't want to cough at all anymore. Um, you can mail stuff from Germany back here. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but like I'll have my, what do I do, just leave my Toomey suitcase over there? I don't think so. I don't think that is a good idea. It's a pretty good idea. Um, what's the most important enhancement you want to make as VP? Uh, bring the whole company together. It's a problem. I would also say the um, the execution speed in which we get things done as a company is very slow. Very slow. Uh, makes no sense. So like incentive structure from the company makes no sense. Uh, the way leadership is chosen doesn't make sense. Uh, the way that we utilize talent that's in the field doesn't make sense. Uh, the way that that teams are completely segregated and everybody's kind of doing their own thing doesn't make sense. You can't you can't sell a billion dollars a year with some people doing this and some people doing that and some people doing this and some people doing that. It doesn't work. Forgive me if I've got this wrong, but the Empire is your team and you made sure it was segregated. You were all made to sign non-disclosure agreements. So you made it segregated and now you're saying all this segregation is wrong and all these teams should be coming together and yet they're all competing against each other. So if that's something that was and has been wrong for a long time, then why haven't you fixed it before you got this BP position? Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, but speed, 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 a lot faster execution on a lot more ideas, um, and then bringing, bridging gaps and doing a lot of that stuff. I'm freaking pumped. Uh, and that's just kind of the start of it. Like. I like that you asked that, Lauren, because it's funny. I, I've mentioned, um, and this isn't to say this is going to happen if you're if you're in improve it, but it would be cool if it does. And so, you know, let's see what I can do. Um, I think something that really drove the company that you and I were part of previously uh, was actually having boards of directors. So, also giving leaders then something to push for. Like, why would you stop for um, you know pushing for end of year? You know, why would you have a bad December if you knew you needed to sell fifteen thousand dollars? Uh, and, and recruit X amount of people or have a team that does whatever um, to then have the ability to what, go on a trip somewhere or have a title or, or whatever. There's just a lot. So we just need some speed. We need people all, you know, rowing in the same direction. And it's just, it's too chaotic right now. I can't wait to see how this is going to work out. I mean, 99% of people in multi-level marketing companies make little or no money at all, and only the top 1% actually make any money. So is this going to be more of the top 1% making even more money, and the people that are joining now are going to be making even less than they were before? Um, do I ever get annoyed about people offering advice? Yes and no. Yes, especially at the beginning, not so much now. Because you realize people are just trying to help. Like I realized it when somebody was uh, telling me about her father's bone cancer and I had just heard from somebody that um, dendritic cells are really useful against bone cancer, like custom, custom dendritic cell vaccines. So I said to her, I was like, oh my God, I'm being that person right now, but I think I can, can connect you to somebody. What does your t-shirt say? Um, cancer picked the wrong biatch. It's from Russ, he lives downstairs. <laughs> oh, so cute. And then this apron is from Tatum. She's my color analysis. So I look healthy, thank you. You know what, I really feel healthy. I got such good news from my friend. His name's Gary Heyer. I posted him in my story today. He called me yesterday when I was actually at the event. I was behind stage and then he texted me because I couldn't pick up the phone. He has stage four colorectal cancer. He's been diagnosed um, like 10 years ago or something, you know, given like a year to live. Um, he went through, or two years to live or something, he went through, um, it's insane, it was like 40 rounds, of, 50 rounds of chemo, 80 rounds of radiation, and was like, I'm done with this. Still no cure. I'm not a medical professional, but I want to talk about chemotherapy and radiotherapy for a minute. They can be cures depending on what stage of cancer you've got. So if you've got stage one or stage two breast cancer instance then they can cure it but when you're stage four which in the uk is classed as terminal then chemotherapy and radiotherapy is not a cure 
it's a way to extend your life. So that is what you are refusing to do, in my opinion. Like eight years ago or something, he's like, I'm done with this. This is killing me. None of you are trying to heal me. You're trying to have me on drugs and medicine my entire life. And he switched holistic about four or five years ago. Um, maybe five years, five, six years ago. Some, again, on the timeline, you can go look it up. Anyway, he's like, screw this. I, I know people who you've told it's incurable and they've cured it through a healthy lifestyle, okay? So, um, and he's like, I got kids to live for, like, I'm, I'm not done here. So long story short, he completely changes his lifestyle very much like you've seen me do, which is pretty cool. Um, where's Heal? Where can I watch that? And then, um, so went totally vegan, did fasting, has taken, you know, like I said, this very similar route to me. Um, juicing, opened his own cannabinoid company. Um, to also help with the CBD helps a lot or yeah, CBD and whatever helps cannabis in general helps a lot with cancers. He had no cancer. He was cancer free in remission for um, a couple of years there. And then he got a scan a couple of months back. It came back. Um, and then he went even, he said, oh, you have to do chemo and radiation. It's growing out of control. And he said, I don't believe that. Like I'm going to go really kind of next level. Um, about this and I'm gonna go really hard in the in the natural space and so he's been doing a bunch of natural treatments and he got his um, his scans back he got his scans back last week or two days ago or something like that so that's why he called me and uh, not only is the disease not growing um, but it's shrinking already and so it's just you know he called me obviously because I'm taking the natural route and those are really the only stories you want to hear you know I don't want to hear stories of chemo patients I'm just totally honest with you uh, nobody who's taking a natural route is interested in hearing about it um, just because going the natural route is working for him and being a vegan and juicing and taking cannabis products is working for him doesn't mean it will work for you or everybody else that does it not all cancer is the same and what worries me more than anything now is that hacking cough you've got that is something you really should get sorted i uh, i love hearing from him my friend owen several other people i found uh through this this journey who just you know they they were dead set on it being the naturally want to you know they, they were given a prognosis like i was and they said you gotta be kidding me if i've got two years left you think i'm gonna spend those two years in a hospital with no quality of life and fade away into a skeleton it's not happening and i took I took the same approach, you know, I don't know you guys know that, but they gave me what, six months or something like that, six, six to eight months, um, won't, won't, won't be here by November, okay, and so I said, well, so you're telling me, what you're telling me is to absolutely poison and toxify my body, um, so I don't have any fighting chance, no immune system, and then what, just like fall away into the abyss or something like that like not dude it's not gonna be for me so i figured i could at least uh just not agree with them at all uh, tell them that they are not my god and so those of you who are atheists i guess you hate when people say that but uh, that's not the, the god i serve does not work at md anderson and uh yeah look at steve jobs he went that route and by the time he figured out it wasn't working it was too late for him to do any other kind of treatment and he died i mean i hope that's not going to be the case for you jesse lee but it's a very big possibility isn't it and i just feel that sadly your time is running out i feel i feel super strong i feel extremely positive probably because of this disgusting ginger look how much freaking ginger she's Holy Toledo, Chris is amazing. Chris had cut up all this produce for me. Makes my life so much easier. <sighs> so, but turmeric, one, two, three, whole chunks of turmeric. Good Lord, Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Get all that turmy out of there. Yep, and so, I mean, I talked about this actually on stage yesterday when I accepted the vice president. I'm like, you guys don't take this seriously enough. You know how much money you need? To, to survive something like this, ask anyone in here who has a chronic disease. I said, I know there's other people in here who you might not even know have a chronic disease in this audience here right now. Do you know how expensive it is to try to fight this or heal from this? I use the word heal. 
It's so expensive. You get pushed into chemo and radiation because you can't afford any other options. That's not good. That's not healthcare. Is it possible that they're not being pushed into it though? Is it possible that they believe that is the best way forward, that the medical professionals are advising that route? Is that not possible? Because they are the ones that are actually trained in it, as opposed to you, who is not a trained medical professional. Yes, you're doing exactly what you want to do, with your body which is absolutely fine but as i've said before your videos should come with trigger warnings saying that you are not a medical professional and that not everybody should be following exactly what you're doing because there will be lots of people who are trying to who cannot physically afford it and that is going to be extremely mentally exhausting for them on top of the cancer. And if you can't see what's wrong with that, I'm going to buy you a pair of glasses. Okay, so get your money right, find a business opportunity, get some residual income. I'm past half a million dollars right now in three months in healing from this. And uh, part of that, hey... I wish I had never done the conventional stuff. That would have that would have saved me a quarter million dollars. That's very misleading there, Jesse Lee. You're saying you wish you hadn't gone the traditional medicine route because it would have saved you a quarter of a million dollars. But that's not actually true, is it? It's because you didn't do it properly. You didn't go to the doctor and get the doctor to refer you for the test. And if you had done it that way, then your insurance would have covered it. But no, you took matters into your own hands and ordered your own test that you paid for. And that is what messed up your insurance. So if you're going to speak about it, at least be honest about it. Because at the moment, you're not being that. On Jesse Lee's Joyful Juice and Kitchen, we're just going to tell y'all all about it. And we're just going to save you from the same problems. Okay. These are kind of cut a little too big in some of them. So, just got to cut some of these apples in half a little bit. That's a lot of apples, so I don't think I need to juice all of them. Um, so glad you're taking... Yeah, I'm taking Juice Plus. So it's, um, it's kind of funny. So, I got sent some Juice Plus from some reps. Thank you. So, Aviram, at his house that we met at, so there was a house in Arlington when we first started dating. And um, somebody had an auto ship set up and they had all these bo boxes of Juice Plus sitting out. They contacted the company and the company's like, just keep them. We already resent it to, uh, to the person that used to live there before you. And so, he had all these things of Juice Plus and he was never taking it. And so, now I've got. 25 bottles of juice plus here so yeah i'll take juice plus and all juice like why not why not do both um i'm kind of a proponent of the best way to get nutrition is always going to be from the actual food itself but um you know it you know what juice plus does for me mentally you can talk to your juice plus rep i have a lot of juice plus reps that are friends um yes i will sell my customers nothing's changing i still take care of my customers still take care of everyone um still doing my thing just also now vp um, what Juice Plus does for me is on days that it's crazy or I'm traveling and I, don't, I can't get, um, to be honest, on days that I don't have, have this, on days that I don't have the pure juicer, it makes me feel better. And I don't know if that sounds really crazy or not, but um, I just feel like, okay, at least I'm still getting a ton of my, you know, nutrition from, you know, these vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, you're an inspiration, have helped a lot of people like myself, I can your health. Oh, oh, like biohacking. Yeah. Can't wait to order a juicer. Yeah. And you can put the word code below just because I thought the code was working my story and somebody said it wasn't. Otherwise, I wouldn't do that on this live. But um, I'll send you the direct link to order to order your pure juicer if you'd like. You don't have to, obviously. Am I taking Protan? I've been taking. Yes, I've been taking Protan them for about seven years. So do my dogs. So if that was going to cure cancer or stop cancer. Still take it every day. Your NRF2 activated or whatever y'all people say. <laughs> Ugh, I take it all, guys. I've taken it all for a long time. 
which is kind of crazy because if you think about it, how bad would this have been? You know, if I wasn't drinking cayenne water and if I wasn't taking Juice Plus and Pro Tandem and, you know, all the carrot juice on my lip and whatever else, you know, kind of makes you, kind of makes you wonder. It kind of makes me wonder whether it would have made any difference at all, whether you were doing these things. So you could have been doing absolutely none of those things and still got the same diagnosis. Literally just rinse out and then um, clean at the end of the night each night. So after I make all the juices, it's super easy. Super, super easy. When I've beaten the cancer, um, will you ju juice after? Yeah, I feel amazing. Um, how much is the COVID juicer? I don't know. I have not clicked the link, so I will send it to you. I'll just send you the whole link. Um, you should try juicing, trying to get rid of fibroids in your uterus. Do it, Nicole. Hi. Did the intelligent doctors not in the U.S. say what activates fetal cell cancer? Um, so, yeah, it's in my blood as well. So it's in her blood as well. What? I actually had to listen to that part three times to make sure that's what Jessie Lee said. But she definitely said it's in her blood as well. We're going over that on Monday. So I'll know exactly what the causation. I'm guessing probably some stress and probably something in my diet. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll find Not everything is attributed to stress and your diet. I can talk about, I want to talk about nurses for a second. Um, since clearly we have at least two nurses on the line. Um, what I would like to say about nurses, is for whatever reason, you're the best network marketers I've ever seen. And I do know why, actually. So here's my theory around nurses. Nurses are sometimes a little slower to start. Um, so sometimes they can get frustrated and like rush back to whatever they were doing, which is okay. But what I find is that nurses and teachers are the best network marketers because they care. And this entire business model is based and predicated on you get paid based off of how many people you help make money. And I think nurses and teachers understand that better than anybody. So for them, it's like, okay, if I'm going to do presentations, if I'm going to sell, if I'm going to promote a product, I will do it if I help other people because I want to see other people make money, win, change their families, etc. So they, they literally dominate. Like every teacher on our team, whoop. Yeah, it's just, I shouldn't say every teacher. That's, of course, not true. But um, as, a, as an overall statement, I don't even care what company you join. Of course, you can join me, but I don't care what company you join. Find a company that you're aligned with because, like, I see teachers and nurses do more magical things than truly any, anybody else in network marketing. But Jessie Lee, you're the number one network marketer in the world. So how can teachers and nurses be the best at it? Because you're neither of those things. And you said it's because they like to help people. Well, in their profession of teacher or nurse, yes, I would agree with you. In the multi-level marketing industry, I definitely don't agree with you. Because as we know, 99% of people don't get helped because they don't actually make any money. I saw some haters on TikTok when I did a big shout out for nurses, but I'm going to do it again right now. So, you know, here you go. I want to give a big shout out to nurses. And this is not, no one asked me to do this. No one's paying me to say this. But the nurses have been the people in this experience that have been amazing. I have hated every single traditional doctor. I have gotten along with every integrative oncologist. I liked one, but he quit. Um, he, happened, he was retiring uh, two weeks after I first started working with him. So obviously that didn't work out. My point in saying all this is to say it was the nurses in the hospital when I was uh, after surgery, you know, telling me, hey, except for the one who was like, stop walking so much. Okay, aside from her. I was like, I'm going to keep walking. I will walk more now, lady. Um, but I, uh, they, they got mad because they're like, she's just, she's crazy. She's going to kill herself. She's not listening to the doctors. Um, it was the nurses, you know, who gave me a lot of ideas around some of this integrated feeling, to be totally honest with you. And it was the nurses who um, were the ones who just kept coming in every, you know, however many times a shift. And I talked to them and they were a lot like, they're from all over the world and they just, they made it feel not so doom and gloom. And the doctors really made it feel like I was sitting there uh, and it was gonna be end of Jesse Lee's days, any any day now. And the nurses were like, nah. 
Uh, I gave a shout out before, but it's been a while. So let me give another shout out to the nurses. You really, um, my surgery, like, I mean, it sucked. I don't, I didn't, I didn't love it. Uh, but you made it that much more, not terrible, if that makes sense. So thank you. The only thing I have to say about that is I agree with you. Nurses do do an amazing job and they certainly don't get paid anywhere as much as they should do. Trigger warning for people who are or were drug addicts for this next section. You might want to skip ahead a minute or two. I remember when they were asking about what, um, what painkillers I wanted to go to sleep with. Mm. I asked the nurse, I was like, what would you say? She's like, take the Dilaudid. I actually don't think that's the way it was because it's not the nurse that does the treatment plan and the nurses don't recommend which medication you're on. It's the doctor that does all of that. So I'm not so sure what you're saying is correct there, Jessie Lee. I was like, all right, okay, I'll take the Dilaudid, please. Can I have an order of Dilaudid? I don't think it's very appropriate for you to be making jokes about this drug that you're talking about because it is highly addictive and there are many people who are battling an addiction with it who would not find that appropriate. Um, which I'll tell you what, so I don't do painkillers ever and uh, I had never had the lauded before but I will tell you, um, by the way these just go in here, look how easy this is. You just put those in there and then it's going to squish all of it and keep all the mess inside of there um, for, for the, the citrus. It's just going to go, shoo So it's going to press and then go. Um, so the Dilaudid, the crazy thing was the first night, wow, wow. Okay, I was like, yeah, I know now why they talk about this Dilaudid. Um, I was flying, I was soaring, I was feeling so good. Um, and I was like, ooh, I know why people get addicted to this. And then, check this out. So, that was night one. I was in there for five nights, I think. Four nights, five nights, I don't know. So, the second night, I'm like, give me that Dilaudid, give me that good stuff. And they're like, yeah, uh, we have to give you the same amount. I'm like, I don't care, That's it. that was perfect. Give me that same dose, nurse. Okay, she comes in and I felt it, but even after one day, it did not feel the same. Same, I could not believe it. I was like, and I asked her when the nurse came back in, I was like, is that all I get? Is that all I get? Because this felt a little different last night, okay? And she's like, yeah, that's all we can give you. I'm like, come on, man. I just had surgery yesterday. Give me a, give me some more of that good juice. All right, this is a true story, okay? Um, and then night three, I'm like, I'm not even excited about it anymore. I'm not even excited about this Dilaudid anymore. I mean, but I was, but I was like, it just helped me sleep the third night. I really wanted more, you know? And then the fourth night, man, I don't even think it helped me sleep. I couldn't even hardly feel it. I was trying to chase that dragon. Ugh, I get it now. That was the first time I've really been on some painkillers like that. Now, I mean, it did. It's a different perspective. Look how easy cleanup is. Boom. Um, I, yeah, I was like, ugh, okay, don't do drugs. Period. Okay, and certainly not the lauded because it's never going to be as good as the first time. That I can speak on. Other drugs, not so much experience. Oh, at long last, some good advice. Jesse Lee's right there. Please don't do drugs. Only take drugs that are prescribed by a doctor. And if you start to have a problem with them, then please talk to somebody about it because you can get help. But, um, you know, that one, yeah, that one for sure. Uh, what's Jessie Lee doing now? Now she's, now she's encouraging juicing and drugging. No, 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 I'm not. Don't be silly. Yeah, I love this. Like, I love that it's stainless steel. So you just, it's done. Like, <coughs> the easiest cleanup ever it just comes off pop, pop, done juicing is well juicing and smoothies are two different things right so the amount of you know this is four pounds of carrots and whatever else the amount of actual juice you're going to get in this is just a lot more right you're going to get a lot more when you're juicing um, compared to all of the pulp and stuff like that. 
I do a smoothie as well. Actually, I'm out. I don't know if Rachel Garcia's on here. I have, today's the last day. Um, she sent me all of this stuff for a smoothie. It was a month's supply and it took me like two months because, you know, all the travel and little things like that. And some days I'll forget to take it. Uh, but she sent me all this stuff from her, her company, Pure Life, I think her company's called. Um, and uh, anyway, it's delicious. Okay, do I miss steak? Here's the crazy thing. Like, don't come for me, carnivores. I don't. But I think the reason I don't miss it is because um, I feel so good. Like, I feel so good. Oh, by the way, Bambi, anyone says, narcotics make you sick, you could never be addicted to them. I hate pills. You know what I mean? Where your head's like, and you're like, whatever. I don't like that. Is that the water, though? Don't do it. Okay. All right. Congrats on your VP role. This is fantastic. You'll do more things, great things for the company, no doubt. Thank you. You've really helped me in our business. Uh, that we started last January. Your coaching is helping to skyrocket our business. Let's go, Laura. Mm. Uh, but no, it's funny because um, I uh, I have this thing where like I don't like to chew. <laughs> All my best friends know this. Like everyone knows this. If you've ever gone to eat chicken wings with me, okay. I will be so hungry, okay? I am not retiring from the field. It is a new position, okay? I will be, I will order 25 wings because I am so hungry, okay? Four wings in, I am done eating them because I'm over chewing. I don't know why. Is anyone else like that? Well, I'm definitely not like that. I absolutely love steak, especially when it's cooked properly which in my opinion is medium rare and you hardly have to chew at all so no i don't have that problem at all steak is the same i love how it tastes i'm just like i just get bored with chewing i don't know what's wrong with me how will i manage team mvp i'm jesse mf and lee don't you worry about things we hot sweetheart <laughs> your accelerator calls your favorite train of the week thank you you look great thank you did my brothers get tested no not that i know of I gotta dive in. I'm in silver and still big time slacking. WTF is wrong with me. I don't know. Maybe you need gold. I don't know what you need. <laughs> Only you can answer that question. No, I'm not retiring from the field. Mm -mm. It's just an addition. So um, I'm still building. I'm still doing my thing. Um, making money just doing the simple stuff you say. So simple. Prove it isn't even ready for you. I know. I'm excited. I'm like, what do you eat? I'm like, I wish I didn't have to eat. I wish I could just juice all day. Like this would just, I mean, I guess I could, but I do still eat salads and stuff. I had a huge salad today. Um, you hate pills too? Yeah. Ugh. What about, see, even, yeah, like, so the A1 Wagyu, you don't really have to chew. If you ever had A1 Wagyu from Japan, it melts in your mouth. You like, you like, that's all you have to do. And it's gone. I am still doing my coaching program. That is like the, my, okay, the accelerator is like the biggest joy of my life. I'm obsessed. Excuse me. Do I have two? Come here. Please, puppy. The rest of the video is just her uh, talking to the dog groomer and talking to the dog, so we don't need to bother with that part. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have a an amazing day. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to spread the education of why you shouldn't join an MLM further. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.